hello viewers welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss on uh, dc motor starters so first uh, let us understand why a starter is required in a dc motor so need for a starter so main function of a starter is to start and accelerate a motor so this is uh, just like a switch uh, which is used to switch on but uh, not just applying the supply directly to the motor but instead we smoothly accelerate so starter is not actually a controller so please keep that in mind so uh, function which is used to control the speed of a motor is called as a controller that comes in power electronics but this is a simple device which is used to start and accelerate so that motor goes up to its rated speed when the rated voltage is applied so we know this particular equation which is obtained by applying kirchhoff's voltage law to the armature circuit of a dc motor so here uh, let us recall the terminologies ia is the armature current v is the supply voltage e is the back emf and ra is the armature resistance so when the motor is first switched on the rotor will not rotate so the rotor is nothing but the armature in the case of dc motor and this armature will be at rest so the armature conductors will not move in a magnetic field so there is no changing magnetic field experienced by the conductor so there will not be any back emf induced back emf will be induced only if the armature is rotating so at start when the rotor is not rotating that is when the armature is not rotating the emf induced or the back emf in a dc motor will be zero now if this is zero what happens to the above equation that let us see so i'll reuse the terminologies so instead of ia i'm using the term i a s here so it indicates that this is the starting current so considering e as zero we get ias as v by r a now what happens if this is uh, the case let us take it with the help of a example so let us consider a dc motor whose armature resistance is 0.5 ohms and this motor is connected to a 230 volt supply so now let us uh, substitute the value so the motor is at rest now and we are just applying the supply back mf will be zero so the supply voltage is 230 and armature is 0.5 so the starting current will be 460 amperes this is a very large current and uh, this amount of current flowing in a small motor of 230 volt is very very dangerous and this in turn can damage the armature and burn the windings so it is very much necessary for us to limit this starting current to a suitable or the maximum permissible value so for that starters are used so limiting the starting current with extra resistors and cutting out as speed increases so now we might have a question that this is nothing but the armature resistance control method actually armature resistance control method is adding a extra resistor in series with the armature and throughout the operation we can vary that resistor we can increase we can decrease and vary the speed but starter is not like that starter is initially used with the resistor in a maximum position and cutting it out slow voltage so that is the difference between armature resistance control and a starter so these resistors are specially designed and uh, their cutting out technology is also different so let us uh, see it uh, one by one so among the dc motor starters there are two popular versions first one is called as a three point starter and uh, the other one is four point starter so let us uh, look into these uh, three point and four point uh, starters in detail so here is a diagram of a three point starter so we have to understand its terminologies its components and also the working so this is a shunt 
or separately excited motor let us verify this so now we have the armature circuit here this can be considered as a positive terminal of the armature it is connected here to the run button and via resistors it is connected to this point and this point here is connected via OLC coil to the positive of the supply so now this L is connected to A so L is called as line and A is the positive terminal of the armature it is connected now if this F point of the field winding is connected to positive terminal and they have common ground then we can call this as a shunt motor let us verify that also so now F point is connected via this NVC coil and it is connected back to this point number one which is connected to this handle via OLC it is connected to L so we have verified that this is a shunt motor now let us see what are this NVC OLC and other functions which are mentioned so first there is a mechanical handle for a starter which will be initially in the position as shown this has a spring and a magnetic material there are set of resistors which has different studs here and these are the point of contact so now cutting out of this resistor is by moving this handle from one point to another point so if we move from one towards phi then we will be changing the resistor value from maximum to minimum in terms of steps so this is not a smooth variation this is a discrete variation okay we are varying the resistor in terms of steps now here there is a magnetic material and there is a coil here this handle will be held in this run position with the help of the magnetic energy produced by this coil so this particular coil will produce a magnetic field which will hold this magnetic material in position such that this handle is in run position when the motor is functional now let us see what are the additional features which are present in this three point starters so when the supply is connected to this OLC there is a one more magnetic material here which will be present and this will be in a particular position now once the magnetic material receives sufficient magnetic field this P will move towards OLC so what happens when it is moving towards OLC that let us uh, have a look now so for the time being just remember this is a coil which is used for overload protection so OLC is called as overload coil so whenever overload occurs the circuit breaks how it is that we are going to see NVC is no volt coil whenever there is a dip in the voltage or the voltage is not up to the required value then this NVC will trip the supply and the handle will go back to the original position thus not allowing the motor to operate so two kinds of protection are there along with the the resistor banks here so one is overload protection other one is under voltage protection okay so let us uh, see the working now. now the positive of the supply is connected to overload coil so overload coil will be magnetized now if the current flowing through this overload coil is higher than the required limit this P moves close towards OLC now the field wind connected NVC so NVC is a no volt coil so there will not be any drop across it and this no volt coil is parallelly connected to one particular supply so if these two points are shorted the point A and A if these two are shorted then the current through NVC becomes zero if the current through NVC becomes zero 
then this handle has a magnetic material which is shown here will not remain intact if the current becomes zero the magnetic strength will be zero and thus the coil releases this magnetic material and handle will return back to its original position and thus switch off the motor so this happens when overload or over current flows through the motor windings now let us say the applied voltage is not up to the mark it is reduced so if the supply voltage is less then we will uh, try the path here the current flowing through this path will reach the NVC so the current in the NVC will be less if the supply voltage is reduced as per the Ohm's law if the voltage reduces current will also reduce because current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it so if the current reduces the magnetic field once again reduces and thus this coil releases the magnetic material and handle goes back to the original position to go back to the original position once the magnetic material is released from the coil the spring is used and uh, this spring stores the kinetic energy so let us uh, understand the function once again we'll have a brief summary of this supply is connected to the positive terminal via olc and handle is in off position initially we slowly increase the position we change the position of the handle by decreasing the resistors from stud 1 to 2 3 4 and 5 and we reach the run position when run position is reached the motor will uh, rotate at its destined speed now suppose if the volt and starts dipping in that case nvc the current through nvc reduces and it releases the magnetic material and spring pulls back the handle it switches off the motor now let us once again start the motor we are in the run position now let us say the motor is overloaded as the load increases the required torque increases and as per the torque equation torque is proportional to current if flux is constant so as the load increases load torque increases the required current will also increase if the required current increases the magnetic energy in this coil will be more and this P magnetic material will move towards OLC if it is moving towards OLC the connector here will short the protective element A and A of this NVC and if there is a short circuit the magnetic energy stored will be dissipated and if the magnetic energy becomes zero then the handle H is once again sent back to its original position with the help of the spring because there is no strength in this magnetic coil to hold the magnet okay so this is about the three point starter used in a dc motors so what are the drawbacks of this three point starter so now we can see that nvc is in series with the field winding okay please keep this point in mind nvc is in series with the field winding so if the field flux control method of speed control is used field current has to be reduced because field flux control method is used to run the motor above its rated speed and to run the motor above its rated speed we have to reduce the flux flux can be reduced only by reducing the field current now if the field current reduces the nvc coil which is in series with the fielding winding will not have sufficient magnetic energy and it will release the handle okay so this will reduce the current in the nvc and the holding strength of the electromagnet becomes weak so the arm of the starter may be released during normal operation thus disconnecting the motor from the line so let the function of the nvc is to uh, dismantle the handle take it back to its original position only when there is over current or under voltage or dip in voltage now without anything if we just go for field flux control the nvc will not be having any strength to hold the 
electromagnet and thus it releases the handle even during the normal operating position which is not good so how to overcome this drawback so to overcome this difficulty four point starter is used so let us see what is the difference between this three point starter and a four point starter so this is a diagram of a four point starter which looks very similar to three point starter but there nvc was is in series with the filling field winding okay so i repeat nvc was in series with the field winding here nvc the point entering the nvc and field winding is a separate so there is a separate branch for nvc grounded via resistor to limit the current otherwise uh, initial case nvc was in series with the field winding and the resistance of the field winding itself was sufficient to limit the current through nvc here that field winding is absent so we are adding a additional resistor to limit the current through nvc and field winding is now separate so the current through the field will not affect the current through nvc and here the variable resistor is used to have a control over the field flux so now if a field flux control method is used and we are varying the field flux by minimizing the current here the separate current will flow through nvc without disturbing its magnetic properties and this handle will remain in position rest of the features and working of these uh, resistors olc nvc is exactly same as that of three point starter the difference is in the connection where nvc is connected so in a three point starter nvc is in series with the field winding in a four point starter there is a separate path for nvc and field winding so what is this three point and four point there is a name so a three point starter line field and armature these are the three points which were connected here line field armature and additional nvc is connected okay so those are the four points which are connected in a parallel okay so line is connected to field and armature that is a three point starter line is connected to nvc field and armature this is a four point starter okay so these are the two types of starters which are used in dc motors so this does not help in the speed control for speed control we have to use the different method this will just help in limiting the starting current okay which will be very very high and this will save the armature windings from burning out so that's all uh, we have got uh, for today so please don't uh, forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications instantly as and when the videos are released thank you